What is up? It's your boy Aang here bringing to you guys a brand new freaking video, man. So look, listen, today, today we got a fun one. Today we got an exciting one. Today we got a banger. Alrighty, so in today's video, we got an absolute beast of a modification. I think everybody who owns a Toyota Tacoma has heard of the name Pedal Commander. When I first bought this Toyota Tacoma, I looked up modifications. What modifications should I do? And that is the number one modification that even now I get recommended. So in today's video, we're going to be testing that out. Is it really worth it? I was really excited for this, so I already installed it, but let me go over the install with you, just so you know what you need to do. You open up your door like this, you're gonna see the truck is on right there. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna grab both your keys, make sure that they're 35 feet away. 1, 2, 3, 21, 22, 20, 48, 49, 50. Better safe than sorry, just leave your keys right here. Now you do have to wait, I had to wait like 15 minutes for my truck to completely go blank how do you know that it's ready to be modified how do you know that you can start this right here will go black completely black the lights will turn off if you have any lights on once it was completely black it was time to get into the install right here you're going to go to your gas pedal you're going to follow it all the way up to the top up top it has a connection the connection you're going to want to simply uninstall it easier said than done take your time my finger was bruised but that's not pedal commander's fault that's toyota's fault for making it very sturdy. Anyways, it's a very simple install. There's a lot of different installation videos out there. This is rather a quick overview. Once you have that set up, you're pretty much good to go. I gotta fix the wiring, so I think I'm gonna do that now. Bada boom, bada bing, you can't even see the little old thing. So I hid mine because the reason I like that it's hidden is whenever you're gonna go to service, they don't have to know about it. Just reset it, leave it at stock. At least me, I have to drive my truck into like a service bay. And I have a feeling if the dude doesn't know that I'm on Sport Plus, He's gonna ram right into somebody or something. Not only that, but they'll also be doing donuts in the back of the parking lot with your Toyota Tacoma. So this way, reset it, put it back to factory. It's out of sight, kind of out of mind. And uh, well now, let's test this bad boy out. Now that you got your device all set up, you can just go right here. Just trying to connect. Your truck is on, you don't have any check engine lights. The only thing I don't like, Pedal Commander, I'm gonna have to take away one point. Why not put a Tacoma here or a Toyota Tundra City 4? That's where I like it. I don't have my first impressions. My first impressions was, wow, this is cool. Let me see what Sport Plus is like. I put it in Sport Plus. It's too touchy, it's too finicky for me. I don't know why it says we're going one mile per hour, but believe it or not, Sandy likes it in Sport four fan it seems like it's a little bit much i prefer city four that's just that's just my personal preference also before we start driving let me show you something that i think is actually pretty cool you see the controller you see how it says city four i'll put it in sport four and now it's in sport four which it's a cool feature they could have turned the lights off on the pedal commander and just let it be but instead that little attention to detail is absolute money so i didn't get my first impressions but i did get sandy so i'm going to put that on the screen now i hope you guys enjoy all right try enough. baby what the freak babe that's too much babe <laughs> what the heck oh low down low down <laughs> yeah go to your right Oh god. Is that how it, there's not like middle ground? This is where I like it. Yeah, this is it. Now, Sandy has always complained about the truck. It's too slow, it's too sluggish. But now that we have this, it's better, right? Yeah, I think I like it better. You do have to learn how to drive with it. Please be careful. After using it, doing whatever, testing it with Sandy, driving home, my driveway leads right into my garage. I nearly went right into my garage in reverse. So just uh, keep that in mind. <laughs> So just for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna turn it off. I'm just gonna completely turn it off and drive my Tacoma how Toyota wanted me to. So this is just normal driving, nothing crazy, nothing out of the ordinary, but when you're done playing games and you wanna get serious about your driving city and you're all good to go, that's my personal preference. I think it's the best there. I'm still getting used to it. If I can't get used to it, then I'll turn it down. I think for most people, city will be the best. Now, what I like about this, see, there you go. There Ooh. you go. Oh my, my phone, my phone, my phone, my phone. Hi. What I really like about this is not only the get up and go, it's when you're actually driving. If I'm on the highway and I need to pass somebody, it was like a full on workout. It felt like I had to scoop my seat all the way forward and put my foot all the way down to pass somebody because it just felt like the pedal was so dead. But now if I need to pass somebody, I just think about it and the truck, we're, we're going. Bada boom, bada bing. We are looking absolutely clean. So pedal commander, is it worth it? 100% yes, it is definitely worth it. I'm not at all affiliated with pedal commander, so I could say whatever I wanna say about pedal commander. It's worth it. If you're interested, you wanna pick it up, go down below, I'll have it linked 
But with all that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy. And if you did, please leave a like, a comment, and a subscription. It's been your boy. I'm Audi Like and Audi. I'll see you tomorrow. Cinco de Malo. Peace.